You've learned about a lot of MLMP activities, and we thought it might be useful to have a quick review of what we do when we go to our site every week. When we get to our site, we first fill in the date, names of the observers, our site name and location, the time we're starting, and the temperature in the shade at the top of the data sheet. Then we get to work, checking plants to monitor. At our site, the milkweed grows in many separate areas, and we know that there are over 800 total plants, way too many for us to monitor all of them. So, we randomly choose to monitor four areas in our site by drawing cards. We divide them up and each go to an area. We carefully look at all of the plants in our area and record what we find on each plant. We've chosen to use Datasheet 1C because we keep track of the number of monarchs on each plant, but you can also use Datasheet 1A or make your own datasheet just so you record all of the information. When we find a plant with a monarch on it, we record information about that plant on Datasheet 4A, characteristics of milkweed plants with monarchs. It's nice to have two people to do this, one to measure and one to record. If we find a fourth or fifth instar as we're monitoring, we put it into a container, add some milkweed, and bring it back to our lab to raise for the parasitoid study. We make sure to keep it out of the sun as we continue to monitor. Once we finish measuring monarch density, we randomly choose 30 plants and assess their condition using datasheet 4B, characteristics of random milkweed plants. You may have noticed that we haven't talked about Activity 2 at all during this training. This activity allows you to keep a record of rainfall at your site. Because our site is in a public park, we haven't set out a rain gauge and don't do this activity. However, I do this at my home site and really enjoy having the record of rainfall from one year to the next. I empty the rain gauge every week and record the information on data sheet 2 rainfall data. After an hour or so in the field, we walk back to our lab and enter our data online. We like the immediate feedback that we get by clicking on the new graph from our site and comparing it to previous weeks and years and seeing what other MLMP monitors in Minnesota have been finding.